Hello, my name is Jeff Patterson. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Nacogdoches Medical Center and the NMC Health Network. And welcome to another episode of Ask a NAC Doc. Today I'm here with neurosurgeon, Dr. Mashari Benahill. Welcome. Can you talk more about your philosophy with minimally invasive? The philosophy is as easy as this. You do the surgery, you do the least possible, the least damage with the maximum benefit. And we try to apply this every single time that we do surgery. Surgery shouldn't be done unless if it's indicated, and if it's indicated, it should be done really well, the least invasive way. What are some of the tools that you use to help apply minimally invasive surgery? First, we use a microscope to be able to look all the way down. In the near future, we'll be using an endoscope too. Endoscope get a lot of attention in spine surgery. It's becoming a standard of care for certain things. The advantage it would be even less of an incision and less damage to the muscles. But the reality that I think that's a tool that is even going to get much better in the future. It will help us going that way that we can even use it for fusions now if needed and decrease the muscle damage even further. And what are some benefits to doing minimally invasive back surgery? Surgery by itself is a damage, but we do it for a good reason. And we want to minimize the damage, and that's what we do with, with the my surgery. And every patient is different. We can't say patient doesn't get pain at all. They do, but the pain is very minimal. And if we're doing a smaller thing, like a discectomy, most of our patients go home same day. If we're doing a fusion, if they're young and healthy, they would go sit home the same day. Typically, a patient would stay to two or three days in the hospital. If we're doing it, even for older patients, we see a lot of them going home the next day. Can you kind of walk us through how you interact with the Nacogdoches Institute of Spine Care? We do physical therapy, we do injections, we try to each patient the healthy lifestyle. So we go through a rigorous process. What we try to do is we use all the scientific materials, all the scientific knowledge that we know and apply it for the patient. Reach this stage and they actually need surgery then we can expect giving them 80-90% benefit. I had spine pain, back, neck pain, etc. What would you recommend? You need to know that's a very common problem that happens to a lot of people. So I'd recommend you to get help with your family physicians. We can help you with your back, refer you to physical therapist, give you instructions about how to improve your back pain. We are excited about seeing where the Nacogdoches Institute of Spine Care goes across that entire continuum, whether it's medication management, whether it's physical therapy, whether it's pain management, whether it is surgery and recovery, we feel like we're in good hands. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Ask an Act Doc, and we'll see you next time on Ask an Act Doc. Thank you.